So we're going to have a look at DES, which is a, a, a very old encryption standard. And basically D, DES is a private key encryption method where we have a standard encryption algorithm on either side and we have one key. So this one key encrypts into ciphertext. We send across the channel uh, and Eve hopefully doesn't have the, the secret key and then the other side the same key is used to be able to decrypt uh, the, the ciphertext. We can use techniques such as Diffie-Hellman to be able to uh, generate a shared key because the problem that we have with private key is that Eve may be listened to the communication channel. So with private key and using Diffie-Hellman, Bob and Alice can negotiate the key and it should be secret. So the main methods that we have is that we have private key which is called symmetric encryption. Same key is used to encrypt and decrypt. Uh, we can have asymmetric where we have different keys, special keys, public and a private key. We can encrypt with one and decrypt with the other and then we can have hash functions which are one-way functions. So over here we can see in part of private key DES is, is a standard algorithm. Okay, obviously the more uh, the, the bigger the key, the key and the more bits that it has, the larger the key space. What we'll find is that DES has a 64-bit key, but 8 of the bits are actually used for parity or for checking. So our key space is only this much, which makes it fairly easy to crack on a standard computer. It's a, a block encryption method where we take a message block and then we apply the key to it and it becomes a cipher block. Each block is then encrypted with the key and then we have the overall transmitted cipher block. Okay, so the message must be split up into 128 bit blocks in this case. The problem with this method is that uh, we have what's called the electronic codebook in that the, the same text will result in the same cipher block. So it is easy for an intruder to play back the same text or even to guess the, the, the reverse for it. Techniques such as copy and paste can be used here. Okay, so let's have a look at our example. Okay, so you find it on encryption, and then we have DES. And what we're going to do is we're going to break the program when it comes to a certain point. So we'll feed in Freddy, and we'll have a key of Fred Fred. And we can see our program has stopped here. So the message that's going is Freddy Freddy, and Freddy, and Freddy Freddy is the key. So we'll put in a breakpoint somewhere about here and we'll look at some of the parameters that are set. Okay, so let's run to them. Okay, so we're using the uh, the DES crypto provider which is part of uh, the .NET security. So we can see it's in system security cryptography .DES, so it's a standard .NET component and here we can see this is our string. So the first thing that, that we must do is is to create an 8 byte an 8 byte key. And then the same for our initialization vector. Okay, and then the components which are made up 
which make up the initialization vector, become the key and the IV. So what we have here is that uh, we have an initialization vector. So the method that we're actually using is this one. So the initialization vector gives us uh, some degree of salt. So the encrypted block is based on the key and also the, the initialization vector. The output of this encrypted block is then used as uh, an input to the next block so that uh, the initialization vector will give us different encrypted blocks for each different value. Okay, but in this case we're just using a simple IV vector. So let's run it, run it to here. And this is the encrypted block that we get. We can then simply convert that into a hex string to make it easier to see. And then we create the decryptor, which will now decrypt the stream. So once we run it, Hopefully what we get is that we get our hex encrypted stream and then we get the results here. Okay, so the key here, uh, the important part is that we have an initialization vector and then we have our key. Okay, so let's see if we can get a different encrypted value if we use a different IV value. So we we'll just stop. Just takes a little minute to load the page. So let's break here. Let me see it's completely different from the value that we got before. Okay, so our IV vector is important in actually creating a different output cipher. Okay, so it's the same as the last time for this one. And we can run through. There it is again. 